It's a learning curve. And this is one of the steepest learning curves you'll ever put yourself through. And it's hard. It's a whole lot of uncertainty, things to worry about. Will you be able to do it? How long is it going to take? When am I going to be profitable? How do I know this? And how do I know that? All those questions get answered by the process of going through everything that's been prescribed to you. And the unfortunate thing is, you're not willing to make the investment. Some of you. You're scared. Man, what if I put in all this time and it doesn't work for me? Put in a little bit more time. Because when you learn this, when you look back and you think to yourself, man, I almost talked myself out of this. What the hell was I thinking? Look at this. Look what I'm able to do right now. I could walk out there on Monday and I can make myself $2,500 and not even over leverage and make it and stop trading and I'm done. How many people do you know in your friends and family circle makes $2,500 in a week? Think about it. There's some people that don't even make that in a month. You're learning how to do something is... Hard as it may seem right now, when you get this skill set, it's something that no one can take from you. Nobody can take it from you. And then now, because you'll learn how to do it yourself, you'll get experience and then you can share it with your children. And then help them remove themselves from slavery, because that's exactly what your job is. They've convinced you that that wage that you're going after in that 40 hour pay week. Or if you're a manager and you're in salary in the 50, 60, 70 hour work week that you're probably putting in. They've convinced you that that amount of money was worth prostituting your time for them. Really? You're willing to put yourself through that bullshit just to get bread on a plate. Be told when you can and can't. And you better show up on time or you're going to get written up and potentially lose your job. You're willing to put yourself through that, but not this. When this has a higher potential yielding income and a schedule that you can make whatever you want it to be. You can live wherever you want to live, drive whatever the fuck you want to drive, do whatever you want to do. And nobody's telling you otherwise. There's nothing better than this. Nothing. Not one thing out there better than this. I'm an entrepreneur, ICT. I want to do this and do that. That's wonderful. I think, personally, many of you that want to have other businesses and things like that, when you start making serious money doing this, you're going to be like, ah, fuck this. I don't want to have employees. I don't want to have a brick and mortar building to worry about. I don't want to worry about all that stuff. I want to be a digital nomad. I'm going to bounce around, do what the hell I want to do, fly around here, visit this one, do that, and live your life fast and loose. Some of you think that's unobtainable. As long as I can make, you know, $1,000 know, here and there. You're thinking too small. You're thinking too small. How far do you want to go? What defines professional to you? Professional trader. You're a professional money maker. You're a professional risk manager. You're a professional speculator you're embracing the uncertainty of you might gonna you might have it wrong once in a while but you're not freaking out when you do it some of you aren't prepared for that right now you don't want that you're trying to hide yourself from that inevitable losing streak not losing trade losing streak multiple losing trades oh my goodness what am i going to do if it happens you're going to reduce risk and you're going to follow your model how hard is that See how fast that is to remove all this what if thinking. But see, you can't appreciate that because you don't know what that model is for you yet. You have no experience in seeing how many times it presents itself in old data. That's the key. That's the very thing. That's your secret weapon that gives you the confidence to keep doing it and sticking to it. And it's the same thing you're going to apply in the charts that's forming live real time. You're expecting those same things to unfold candlestick by candlestick whatever time frame you're using. And because you've seen it so many times before, 
because you study a very specific model. Your reticular activating system has been keyed up. That means that you're seeing something that you have grown an affinity for. You, you want to see something in price action that you believe is your model. And because that's your model, everything else in the chart is filtered out. And the thing that you're looking for, as soon as it manifests itself in price, it's like illuminated. It's standing out like a spotlight. Boom! Here I am. And you're on time. Let's get to work. And that's dynamite. That's exactly what professional traders do. They know exactly what the fuck they're looking for, when it's supposed to be there, and they're showing up on time to engage it. They manage it. They don't put on large risk. They don't do the maximum 15 contracts because their funded account company says they can. How much can you, how much can you, the trader, the professional trader, the CEO of you incorporated trading, how much can you take on as risk and not feel any emotion? But I can't get rich ICT doing that. Bullshit. That's bullshit. Because apparently you don't know what compound interest is because you don't need a large rate of return to get rich. You need something that repeats over and over and over again. There has to be consistency, that cookie cutter approach that needs to be applied to your trading. That's your model. That's the thing. That's the edge. And then compound interest is a very small rate of return. Very, very small rate of return can compound over time. I ain't got time, ICT. Really? You got the rest of your life to fucking slave for that job. You ain't bitching about that, are you? I got to get out of this job. I got to do something else. No, no, you're, you're content there. You like the flavor of the bullshit they feed you. You love it. Because if you didn't love it, you'd be making changes about doing it. And guess what? You're here doing that very thing. You're looking for a way out. See, you stay in that cell that's unlocked willfully. I just kicked the door open again, reminding you all you have to do is step out here. There's a big world out here waiting for you. Huge, boundless opportunities. But you have blinders on and you're holding them. You won't put them down. You're trying to talk yourself out of it because you're scared. You've been conditioned. You're all institutionalized. And it's scary to step out here and try to do something on your own. Yeah, you might lose money. But guess what? You're losing money every day that you go to work. You're paying taxes. And when you spend your money, that's not a write-off. You can't, you can't do anything with that. As a business owner, you can do all kinds of things that the average person can't. As a business owner, I get paid to drive the vehicles that I own. I get paid to go on vacations and spend money living the high life. All those things are write-offs. Gas in my cars, even though they're eight cylinders, I don't care. That's a write-off. That, that lowers my taxable income. When I was in school, I wasn't taught that. They don't want you to know these types of things. They want you to have ignorance. And this industry is so competitive. They're going to tell you this is too complicated. It's fucking not complicated. I literally just did a tweet earlier today while listening to all of you. Very simple approach to doing one model. And when you understand that language, it's the silver bullet model, by the way, but in a text format that can fit in a small little segment of price or, or not price, but of paper, like a business card. But there's difficulty in someone seeing that for the very first time and understanding what does that mean? Right. What does draw on liquidity mean? It means that the market's going to gravitate towards that liquidity. Well, which one, ICT? Because I see relative equal highs and relative equal lows. Which one do you look for? Where do you think the weekly chart's going to expand? Your bias is established with the weekly chart. Then every session and every day bias needs to be in alignment with that. Then you have high probability. So you're saying that I could see low resistance liquidity runs if both of those are in agreement. Yep, that's it. There you go. It's done. What are you worrying about? Why are you complicating it? I say all this stuff in the videos. I didn't hide it from you. 
but you're looking for something that you have a preconceived notion about. This is what I need to hear. If he says this, it'll make it easier. Instead of just listening to everything that I'm educating you with or anybody else that can prove that can trade. If they're teaching you something, a well-defined approach to doing it, listen. Don't have selective hearing. Listen. If they're taking the time to spend on you, teaching you, educating you, it's worth it for you to be taking notes. Not just write down the notes and never refer back to them again. Wait a day, come back to them and read them again. And what does it mean? Does you, do you feel any different in terms of what you were taking down in terms of notes? Go back and listen to the medium that they, educators, me or other, anyone else, have produced for you. And you'll be surprised what you think is now new. It was added after the fact. When it's because you just, it's a lot of information. There's a lot of things going on between the high and the low every day. There's a lot of things that are going on. But here's the wonderful thing you don't need to worry about every single aspect of what it is that I know about the marketplace and what I'm able to teach you. You just need to find one small little segment of price action that repeats that you can see easily, that you can time. This is what fits my personal life. I can do this because it fits my life. When you focus on that and you put yourself in that situation, it allows you to groom your expectations as a future professional trader. But if you, if you don't have a target and a routine that you adhere to, you're not going to get there. It's going to be next to impossible for you to find consistency. It's not going to give you the confidence to stick with it because you have no baseline. You have no way to evaluate your progress. But as you do more back testing, as you do more things that repeat over and over again, seeing how these things repeat, you find that this was a lot less complicated than you thought it was going to be. You find that, wow, this is something that I made more scary than it really is. And I almost talked myself out of it. And I think about that myself. I'm going to say this and I'm going to close it. There's so many times where I felt that I was wanting to quit when I was 20. And every single time I put it down, I wanted to do it more. And each time I needed to break, and I put it down, I'd want it more. More than I ever did. If you feel that way, stop resisting it. You are a traitor. If you feel that way, you are you just haven't groomed yourself into a highly efficient, profitable trader. And that's something that someone with your mindset, if you feel that way, that is obtainable. But you have to do a lot of things and prune that tree each day of the things that are time wasting. Things that are focusing your attention on the what if thinking that is negative. Hanging around people that are not going to be encouraging to you. Think about your friends. Where are they at in life? Do they have professional careers? Do they have you know, solid family lives? Are they drama? Do they drain you? When, you? when you get away from them, do you feel like, hey, I'm glad to be away from that person? If that's like that for you, and I had a lot of that when I was younger, cut that stuff off. Learn how to do this. And then... Once you learn how to do this and you're consistently profitable, maybe if it's in, in your interest, go and uh, try to try to talk them into trying to do it yourself. There's something. Well, try to get them to do it. If they don't want to do it, that's fine. But if they're holding you back, and there's many times that friends and family are going to do that very thing. Don't go, if you're new, don't go and start telling your friends, yeah, I'm going to learn how to trade about, I watch this guy, he does this, and you know, it's, it's free, so it's really no risk and such. Don't do that, because they're career workers. Chances are they're going to tell you, oh, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that, you might actually get somewhere. And then they got to feel bad about having never had the willingness to want to make a change in their personal life either. Just do it. Don't talk about it. Just do it. Be diligent. Forge responsibility, self-control, 
All those things are scheduled in your day. You do this, you got to be in front of your charts at this time, and you have to end that day of study at this time. You submit yourself to that time. Can you keep yourself on a schedule? That regimen, going through the process of going through this very thing every single day, even on weekends, can you do that? Chances are some of you may not be at that stage where you can right now, and you're going to have to grind your heels in and say, okay, it's uncomfortable. It sucks because I don't really understand what it is I'm doing, but let time do its work. It'll teach you what it is that you're fearful of right now. The concerns of, I'm not going to be able to see this. How does he know this? And why does he know that this is going to be this or that? How does he know price is going to be react this, this way? Why is his stop loss here or there? How can he do this and how can they do that? How does, how does his student trade this way and his other students are doing that, but they're both making money? All those are answered by you just simply doing it. And you're going to discover the things that you're making a mountain out of. These little tiny concerns. They're like small like small little pebbles in your shoe. It's hard to walk a long journey with a rock in your shoe. I get it. I know. Just get rid of it right now. Remove all the excuses. Yes, it's going to take a lot of time. Yes, it's going to take a lot of, well, discipline. And you may not have it yet. And the only way you get it is you forge it. And place yourself around people that are supportive. They're either doing what you're doing or they've been doing what you're trying to do. And that's a wonderful support structure. I wish I had this when I was coming up. I wish I had this. You all have advantages that people like me didn't have. There's really no excuse for you not to be successful at this. Like you have information at your fingertips by me and other people that know how to trade and it's accessible to you. And there's people out there that bitch and complain instead of just doing the work, sitting in front of your charts, getting used to doing the very thing that you're going to spend the rest of your life doing. If you want to be a professional trader? Okay, accept the fact that you're going to be staring at charts, looking for things that you don't fully understand right now, but you're expecting them to form on a time delivery schedule that's going to be there every single day. When you go to work on Monday, that menial task that your employer asks you to do, it's the same thing all the time, isn't it? You do this, this is what happens. And if it goes off the rails a little bit, you have a protocol that you have to go through and then everything resumes back to what you're supposed to do normally. And your workday resumes as it would be. When it's time to go home, you punch out, drive home. You have uncertainty. You might not make it home safely. God forbid. There's risks in everything. But you're not telling yourself, man, I can't have this job. I can't work this job anymore. Going home from that job might get me into a car accident. I might mess up my new paint job, my new wrap, my rims going through Taco Bell. <laughs> so there's no, there's really no excuse why n any of you can't get here. The trails have been blazed ahead of you. The information has been laid in front of you. All you have to do is show up. You need to put the work in. And I'm confident that everyone that puts themselves to the task, you will arrive on time. The timing that was perfect for you. And you can't schedule it. You can't say, I need to be profitable by this time. It doesn't work like that. It's not like a weight loss program where you can say, okay, in six months, I want to be 20 pounds lighter, whatever it is. That's something that's realistic. This is uncertain because you are a real living organism that has a personality. You like what you like. You don't like what you don't like. And right now, you don't want to back test. You don't want to do these things because they're uncomfortable and they're unprofitable and you can't make money with them right now. And nobody on social media is going to appreciate you doing it because they think you should be trading with real money. You think you should be trading with real money. And you can't be properly trained to prepare yourself for the uncertainty of trading with real money until you do these types of things to a degree where you're no longer influenced by the results in tape reading and then demo. So there's a whole lot of time. There's a whole lot of time ahead of you that you have to do things apart from pushing the button with a real account, apart from trying to get a funded account challenge passed. That's not what some of you want to hear, but that's exactly what you have to hear in 
you have to accept it. 